Hi, I'm John, and these are the Daimatsuri special versions of the Super Master Stars piece, The Sun Goku, and the World Collectible Figures Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Blue Gokus. These were originally released as event exclusive lottery prizes of the Daimatsuri, or more literally the Daima Celebration that commemorated Dragon Ball's 40th anniversary and the premiere of Dragon Ball Daima on October 6th in Japan. There was a huge question on whether or not these would be released stateside, but as soon as I found out that New York Comic Con was having a Dragon Ball Daima panel, I decided to take a chance to see if they would have them there as exclusives. And if not, I'd still be able to leave with some goodies. Luckily they did have them, so I snatched them up before they sold out. Before I start, be sure to get subscribed as I'm continuing to unbox everything I picked up at Comic Con and stick around for some figure customization too. Let's get started with these and for whatever reason you may want to skip ahead, I do have chapter markers below for you to jump to. These are metallic repaints of the 5th anniversary Dokkan Battle World Collectible Figure Gokus. I'm not sure why they chose these to re-release, or why Bandai tends to just throw metallic paint on figures to call them special versions, but hey, it got me to buy them. In any case, I do like the amount of detail on the figures. They're well painted overall, the colors pop, and the application is done quite nicely. The kanji print on Super Saiyan Blue Gokus is also really clean. I just wish they added some line work to the face to give them both a little extra pop. The sculpt on the hair and clothing are also done quite nicely for the size. In terms of the faces, I'm a bit iffy on Super Saiyan Goku's face, but Blue Goku is done really well. I think as a regular release, these might not be worth the $30 price tag, but because they are limited release and they are nice little figures, I say as a one-time thing to definitely pick them up. Moving on to the main event, let's unbox the Super Master Stars Peace Goku. This SMSP Goku has been a holy grail figure for me ever since I got back into collecting in 2022. Originally released in 2020, this Goku was available in four different finishes. And as the years have gone by, the value of those figures have skyrocketed to hundreds of dollars per figure. So seeing this new fifth finish available at Comic-Con for only $60, it was just a no brainer to get. I'm also glad that they didn't give this the Bandai Special and release a metallic finish of this for the Daimatsuri edition. As this was my first time seeing this figure in person, I'm just astonished at the amount of detail in this thing. You can see the hair pieces are sculpted individually and the face is done so well. The clothing was done with so much care. You can really see it where the rope sits on his shirt and how the clothes actually look like they're resting on his body. There's also a lot of texture in his pants and his shoes and plenty of muscle definition as well. I really like this new sepia tone slash watercolor tone that they used. To me, it evokes a feeling that this is part of a legend, like reading on a scroll or something. The whites of his eyes, teeth, and belt are an off-white. The skin tones and clothing are a little bit darker, and the blacks of his hair and his shoes are a bit faded. There's a lot of deep shading on this figure, something I really like in my own repaints but I do wish they added some more of that deep shading on his skin too, which is a lot more subtle. Compared with the original release, it also looks like they changed his eyes a bit with the outline and pupils being a bit bolder, which I think actually looks a lot better. But while this is a grail figure for me, I can't ignore that there are a couple sloppy sculpt seams on his hair and where the front and the back of his shirt connects. Also his Noibo is a bit cheap feeling, and you can see some of the plastic nubbins on the tips of the poles. But besides that, this figure is an absolute beast. It's huge, it's detailed, and the paint is so well done. And I'm really happy to have him be part of my collection. Lastly, I wanted to show a size comparison between the SMSP Goku, the WCF figures, as well as the new SHF Daima Goku that I reviewed. And that's it for my thoughts. These figures are awesome but you'll probably hear that in all my figure reviews because I only pick up the ones that I like. But tell me what you think of these in the comments. 
Special thanks to my members. If you want to support the channel directly, I do have my YouTube and buymeacoffee.com membership for $2 a month. Or if you want to just do a one-time thing, you can just leave a tip. If you want to support me without any additional cost to you, you can click on my Amazon storefront below and buy anything you normally would on Amazon. I'll receive a small percentage of that from Amazon without costing you a penny. Lastly, I'll be posting more Comic-Con stuff over the next couple days, and I'll be back to some projects by this week. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button, drop a thumbs up on the video, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time.